Little red dot going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. So, what is branded content? A lot of people talk about it. A lot of people want to make it. But how do we make it great? Hello, my name is Sean Graham and I'm here today with ITP Live from Creator Up. Today my hope is to take you through the good, bad, and ugly sides of branded content so you can go out and make something great. The kind of branded content I'm going to be talking about today isn't traditional advertising, but it is more about the digital content that comes out of a collaboration between a brand and the new breed of creator influencers we've seen emerge over recent years. So first, the good. Most importantly, I want to emphasize the word collaboration. The best branded content comes when a brand's identity and messaging overlaps with the identity and messaging of the creator. This mindset sets us up for success what I would call a win-win-win. One of my favorite examples comes from Kurt Hugo Schneider and his work with MMs. Over the years, Kurt has amassed millions of loyal followers by creating innovative musical content. And here's a quick preview of what he's done. Oh, sorry. I love these guys. I mean, I'm stuck in my teeth. So here we can see he's not forced the product into video, but rather he's integrated the concept into the brand story. This video simply wouldn't work with potato chips or sneakers, right? So the brand, creator, and the audience all win because this was a genuine collaboration that created content people actually want to see. Now, onto the bad. So here's a snippet from College Humor that probably exemplifies what we've all experienced before. It never has anything to do with the product. It's just some half-baked connection to the tagline, like Chomsky's, drive to the crunch or whatever. Here, I'll show you an example on my HTZ Stream 6, the smartphone with the sharpest screen on the market. Oh. You're branded. What? You're branded. You're crazy. You're branded. No, I just like HTZ phones. HTZ, make a connection. So it's forced disingenuous product placement completely out of touch with the brand story or with the creator story, aka bad traditional advertising. We've all seen this before and it happens a lot. Mostly the product of lazy people that are just not putting in the effort to think creatively or genuinely. It's a digital world and with that comes a new need to establish trust. People get to choose who and where they get to content from. Trust is paramount. And lastly, the ugly. Well, by now, most of us have probably heard the horror stories of creators gone rogue, not fulfilling their contracts, attacking ethnic or religious groups, disparaging the brand that's actually paying for the content, or otherwise doing something that is completely out of touch with their own brand and identity. But we also have to realize that many times, it's the brand or agencies that are at fault for an ugly backfire or a failed campaign. Great branded content comes from great relationships. If it's not genuine, expectations aren't clear, if loyalties aren't set and nurtured, if it isn't entered into the real mindset of a win-win-win for brand, audience, and Creator, it's doomed to fail from the start. To truly create great branded content is simple. Start by asking yourself three questions. First, what is my brand, product, or service? Second, who is my audience and where do they consume content? And lastly, who can help bring us together? Next, really just follow your heart. If it's genuine, if you're entering into it with that mindset of collaboration, it can pretty much guarantee you success. How else do you think all these influencers have got their subscribers? The best branded content not only highlights the brand, service, or agenda, but also gives the creator the ability to create something they actually love and gives the audience the content or information they actually want to see. I mean, it's pretty funny, right? Oh, sorry, I just love this stuff. <laughs> So please share your thoughts in the comments below along with any links to branded content you love or hate. And if you want to find out more, please follow Creator Up on YouTube to get more about a 360 and VR content. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also make sure you check out it2blivemme.com.